Hi friends, it's Jeff with Home Repair Tutor, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to reinforce an entry door and make it burglar proof. So why do you wanna do this? Well, hey, anybody can kick open this door and <laughs> literally come in your house and take your laptop, your iPod, your iPads, in less than five minutes. And there's no way the police are gonna get here that quick. So anyhow, that's why you wanna reinforce your entry door and feel a lot safer about your home. So let's get started. So here's the deal. I got the Easy Armor door reinforcement kit. And it was a little bit pricey. It's like 60 or 70 bucks at Lowe's, but it comes with three different kinds of shields along with all the screws that you need to make your door impenetrable and really tough for even the Incredible Hulk to kick in. So let me show you those parts before we get started. Here are the three different kinds of shields. You've got the door shield. You've got two, one for the deadbolt and one for the, the lock. Then you have two hinge shields that go over top of your hinges. You don't have to remove the hinges at all. And then the final and most important thing is this huge piece right here that is the jam shield. And it's got all sorts of knockouts in it so you can line it up with your jam and the strike plates on your jam. So I'll show you how to install all this stuff. And they give you, the cool part is, and they should give you these screws for 60 or 70 bucks, but they give you all the screws that you need to screw these into place. So. I'll show you how to do that right now. So before you do anything, you wanna take the hinge shield and you wanna stick it in between the door and the jam and make sure that it fits. And what I like to do, because this hinge shield is the same width as the jam shield, you just wanna make sure that it fits all along that space. And obviously it does here because I have more than an eighth of an inch of space between the door and the jam. And this shield is probably about a sixteenth of an inch wide. But do this for your door. If this doesn't fit, if this is too tight, then maybe this product isn't the right one for you and you can take it back. This is the middle hinge, okay? And this is the hinge that you want to work on. You want to remove these two screws that are closest to the insulation strip here. So remove this one. Hey, and first of all, guys, look how small this screw is. Oh my gosh, it's like a half inch, three quarter inch in length. It's pathetic. Now this one, somebody obviously knew that they wanted to reinforce this hinge because this one's about two, two and a half inches long. But nonetheless, you want to remove these two screws. The next step is to take a three and a half inch long screw that they provide, okay? And screw that through the hinge into the jam and into the supporting lumber behind this jam. Okay, now they say to pre-drill, but since I'm using an impact driver, I don't need to do that. Okay, the next thing that you do is line up the hinge shield so that the hole that is left behind that's in the, the hinge is revealed. You take another three and a half inch screw, all right? And you drill that into place. Such that it's flush as much as possible. The next step is to install two more three and a half inch screws in the hinge shield, one at the top and one at the bottom. Now again, you can pre-drill, I'm not going to but you can pre-drill all you have is a regular drill, not an impact driver. Make sure that screw is flush, both on the top and on the bottom. Next thing you want to do is shut the door and make sure that this doesn't prevent the door from closing properly. Now, one thing I will note on this door because it is a little bit cheaper is they did not groove out a mortise such that the hinge can sit inside that mortise and flush with the door uh, frame itself. So that could be an issue for you. It could be an issue for me here, but let's see if it'll shut. So it shut, no problem. I'm good to go. And I don't have to groove out a mortise on the jam either. You just put this hinge shield over top your existing hinge. The next step is to do the same thing for the bottom hinge.
Again, check to see if the door will close. Boom, it does. All right, all right. So now I'm gonna install the jam shield. And what you need to do is note the position of your strike plates. Here's the deadbolt strike plate. Here's the door lock strike plate, okay? So there are many different knockouts on the, the, the jam shield, excuse me. And so what you wanna do is make sure that you locate one, a knockout that corresponds with each strike plate. So look, I've got this one and this knockout that I can easily remove with my thumb, okay? All right, all right. So now that I know I have everything lined up, you wanna shove in the jam shield as far as possible so it actually fits behind this insulation strip, okay? And then what you do is mark holes with a pencil, all right? So like so, like I'm gonna do here. All right, so I got a hole here and here and up here and you can pre-drill or use an impact driver to get screws into those marked holes instead of pre-drilling i'm just going to put this screw in here maybe about a half an inch back it out okay then what i'm going to do is slide the jam shield back into place and stick a screw in here. And again, this is a three and a half inch screw. All right. Okay, there are two more spots on the bottom here that need to be secured with screws. And there are two more holes at the top of the jam plate. Again, secure them with two three and a half inch screws. And then once you're done, just check to make sure that the door closes with limited interference. Not bad, not bad. When you line up the strike plate on the existing deadbolt or door handle, make sure that this slot lines up with the slot on the easy armor plate, okay? Otherwise, the door may not close properly. You can install these door shields over the deadbolt and the regular door lock here, okay? Now, before you do that, I highly recommend that you test to see whether or not this can clear the door jam. Now, what I did first was I put the jam shield on. With the jam shield in place, what you wanna do is slide this door shield over the deadbolt and see if it's gonna clear, and it doesn't in this case, okay? So there's not enough room, and I'm not gonna be using these, all right? However, as a last resort, what you can do is take out the tiny screws that hold this in place, both these lock sets in place, and use the two and a half inch screws that come with the Easy Armor kit that were meant for the door shield. Okay, so simply just take out these screws, okay? Take out both of these tiny screws and install a two and a half inch screw. Do the same thing down here. All right, that's it. That's how you install the Easy Armor door reinforcement kit. I hope that this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to help you with your own project. Visit homerepairtutor.com. Sign up for my email newsletter because you're gonna get a ton of great tips that'll save you money and time. And until then, I'll see you soon. Turn to the camera, salute. <laughs>